Tonight, Norfolk police are reminding drivers of both vehicles and mopeds to watch out for one another. This comes after a moped driver died in a crash this morning. Town your sides, Kara Dixon, spoke with police about the accident that shut down parts of Princess Anne Road for hours. She joins us now from the newsroom with the latest. Kara. Laura Stephanie, investigators shut down the intersection of Princess Anne Road and Valentine Boulevard for hours trying to figure out what caused the crash. Police say while there are still a lot of things to be determined, it's a reminder for everyone to be cautious. It's pretty quiet, uh, but again, this intersection is pretty busy. A busy intersection back to normal after it was closed for hours by Norfolk police investigators. The police were everywhere, um, so we were able to go in the back gate to uh, come to work. Chris Wilson works at Hale Funeral Home. It was out in front of this building at the intersection of Princess Anne Road and Valentine Boulevard where a moped driver was struck and killed. I could probably count on one hand uh, the amount of accidents that happened. Police say a Jeep Cherokee was traveling east on Princess Anne Road when it tried making a left turn on Valentine and crashed with the moped. The driver of the moped was wearing a helmet, but he died at the scene. Our thoughts go out to the victims of the family. Officer Daniel Hudson says this is a reminder for all drivers to look out for one another. It's just paying attention. Being aware of your surroundings when you're driving uh, and vice versa, also for the motorcyclist and the moped. It's the third fatal moped crash in our area during the past month. Hudson says accidents involving mopeds vary in severity, but the smaller, slower scooters have the right to be on the road. Mopeds are authorized to be on the travel lanes. Um, so if you do see a moped, you have to give them the distance that is required to pass them in a safe manner. While investigators are trying to figure out who's at fault in the crash, it's an accident that many living in the neighborhood and involved won't soon forget. It's a devastating incident that occurred this morning, and then, you know, I know that they're dealing with a lot, and I know the driver of the Jeep Cherokee is dealing with a lot. Police have not released, released the name of the victim. Officer Hudson says it's also important for moped drivers to wear reflective gear when out to increase visibility. In the newsroom, Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.